Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to the ProfitRoom.com, another educational series. Today's subject is a guide to stock charts. So today we're going to learn the different types of stock charts, how to read stock charts, the different time frames, and how to use them. Now this concept works for all types of charts, all types of markets as well. So if you're trading futures, you're trading forex pairs or stocks in general, this concept works. So in the beginning, what are stock charts? They're basically graphs. Uh, they're graphical representations of different movements in the markets, for example. So it involves predicting where the market will move based off past fluctuations. And we'll discuss that even further. This is based off a term called technical analysis. So technical analysis, that's one of the most educated predictions out here. And we say predictions because when we look at the charts, we'll see the different movements in the charts. So we're looking for possible targets for uh, stocks, for example, to move the direction it's supposed to go in, or excuse me, predicted to go in. So it's a lot in understanding um, a stock chart. So today we're going to go over the basics of what you need and what is required to understand a stock chart. So let's keep in mind verse fundamentals. Stock charts are very visual, and we'll see that. They're very visual. So when we look at the different uh, horizontal, vertical axis that we may see in the chart, we want to be able to pick out different movements that may possibly happen. And we're going to go into that even in more detail with the different types of charts, of days, weeks, months, years, things of that nature. So let's move on and look at our first chart that we want to look into. This is a line chart. The line chart is the most simplest of all the charts out there. As you see here, when you look at the line chart, it's just plotted by obtaining the open and closing price for the stock for each time frame and segment. So basically, with the line chart, it has no noise. A lot of traders use this just for like a quick trend of a particular stock. Sometimes you might log on to Yahoo Finance. You may see a little thumbnail of a little line chart. You really can't get that much information from a line chart. There's not a lot of data on this line chart to determine as a trader where should I buy, where should I sell. But what it does give you, it gives you a direction. It gives you like a, a preview or a glimpse. So when I turn this chart and I see this line, oh, it's in the uptrend. When I see this, oh, it's a little bit uh, sideways or choppy. Or if I see this, oh, it looks like it's a downtrend, things like that. Um, but this is very basic. It's always good to look and have a lot of individuals may use this for broader market. Like if you're looking at the SPY, the Qs, or the Dow Jones, it's just a quick peak of this particular like right here you can see Apple this is a bullish stock just by looking at this right here from since December that's just a quick peak it doesn't tell you the full story it just gives you a glimpse of what's taking place in this particular stock so let's move on to bar charts now bar charts this style displays data in a way where it gives a little more information to the traders than the line chart as you see here, they have the high, low, open, and close. A lot of traders use bar charts because that's their preference. So now it gives a little bit more of the story. So on an individual day-by-day -day basis, we're looking at a daily chart right now. You can see where it opened. You can see the low. You can see the high. You can see the close for each individual time period, like we mentioned right here. And using a bar chart is more of a preference. I mean, it's a little more old school 
but it still works. You definitely can be able to anticipate a direction of where a particular stock is going to go based off of this information that they give you. I know a lot of older traders use the, the bar charts and just to figure out the direction, which is nothing wrong with that. But the basics behind this is that we want to find uh, future trends. We want the most information as possible to predict a future trend in the stock. Thus, it gives us more of a higher probability of being right when you're using technical analysis. Remember, charts are all visual. We want to be able to get the full story. We want to be able to get the full picture of what's going on in whatever stock that we're trading. So let's move on. Candlestick charts. The candlestick chart is the most popular modern day chart individuals use to trade. Very easy very easy with a little practice it can give you a wealth of information the candlestick chart remember we want charts that are visual that are visual when you read each candlestick there's a lot to learn about it you may see a candlestick chart here the white or green represents a bullish or a positive or in the money type of situation where the stock is going up the red represents going down going down so you may see this on a chart same scenario as we looked at the bar open low high close so we're going to focus more on the candlestick charts when we look at the different time frames when we go into the other subjects that we have to deal with, the different time frames and how to use them. But overall, when you look at the different charts we have, it's various types and people have different opinions when using the um, charts. But the candlesticks is one you really want to focus on as a newbie, especially if you're trading different types of uh, forex pairs, futures, as well as stocks. These are much more universal when you understand the language of candlesticks because it allows you to see the emotions that are going on throughout the market. So you can come with an in-depth uh, look at what direction you may see a particular stock going. So now we're going to go into the different time frames of these charts and see how we could benefit from them. This is a website called stockcharts.com, a very basic website. So we're going to talk about different time frames. If we look up here, we have the daily. We can scroll through the weekly, monthly, two hour, one hour. And we're going to see why different time frames are used. So for example, since there's so many time periods that can be choosed the display data it can be very confusing on what is most uh, likely the uh, type of chart to look at so for example if you're a short-term trader you're gonna focus on the shorter time frame this shows what's going on within the hour of the market even shorter you can look at 15 minutes of the market. So you see here the candles. A lot of intraday traders, they use the shorter time frame. This allows them to make small, quick trades. That's called day trading. Now, remember when you're looking at a shorter time frame, you're trying to capitalize on the shorter movement. The shorter time frame doesn't give you the big scale. So a lot of traders, when they short or go long a stock intraday trading, they look at the shorter time frame. So for example, we see here, Apple, this stock is on a trend going higher. 
intraday a day trader will buy here and ride this trend and possibly sell at the top and this is a quick movement right here quick movements this was a bullish day an excellent bullish day to capitalize on it so now we're looking in at 15 minute increments you can't make that same move on a daily right you can't make that same move on a daily you will have to hold from day after day to go higher but the purpose of the intraday chart here 15 minutes shorter time frame are for day traders you can even go down to the one minute chart to trade this is what they capitalize on smaller time frames so you really can't scale out a huge picture because even though on a larger time frame let's look at it let's look at the daily for example it looks extremely bullish a long-term stock and a positive trend but during the day we look at during the day the stock is going down then the stock is going up then the stock is going down so intraday traders once again to emphasize are capitalizing on a smaller time frame now what about the larger time frames this is more for swing traders or institutional traders these are buyers or traders or investors who like to hold for a longer time frame this could be something like in your 401k Roth IRA things of that nature you're looking at the longer term trend you're not looking to take your money out anytime soon so you look at the monthly then you look at the weekly so if you put a move like this for example you see one week is up the stock looks very bullish so you may start to purchase here and maybe ride a upward trend until it turns red so this is a good sign a positive sign that the stock is very bullish say you purchase up here so for example inspect say you buy up here around seventy two dollars give example here and you might place a stop loss down here you know around maybe seventy dollars and you anticipate the stock going higher because you like this strong bar so as an institutional trader or a swing trader you will buy here place a stop down here and hold it because you're looking for 5, 10, 15, 20 points but you're taking it off at a longer trend the same thing with the daily the daily is giving you an idea of what the stock is doing on an intra on a daily basis so swing traders and institutional traders and investors look at the longer picture because they're not worried about the noise that may happen throughout the day they're not worried about the up downs up downs right these are day traders they're worrying about putting their money in a nest egg right and letting it grow or for example here letting it grow higher letting it grow higher so that's the difference between different time frames when a stock has a larger time frame you get to look at the history how the stock moves what direction it is going we use Apple for example because a very positive stock you may watch MSNBC and hear negative news on Apple and earnings might push it down but in a bigger long-term effect of the stock it's a bullish stock so we have some red months that it went down but it went right back up some red months it went down but it went right back up so if you invest or find stocks like this that trend higher and higher you can make some good money off of it
if you don't have to continue to exit out the trade. But just to highlight again, a day trader cannot sit through a pullback like this because they're probably in much more share size and that's not the purpose of a longer time frame chart. Let's move forward. So one lesson to learn about the different time frames is always good to open another chart of a different time frame to help find the trend. So say we started with the daily excuse me let's start with the monthly we see a nice bullish trend right up 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 go to the weekly nice bullish trend up 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 you go to the daily nice bullish trend up 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 so that's the thing you may start off with the daily chart you may start off with the weekly chart but even though you would expect another time period to have the same bullish pattern it might not necessarily be that way that's why you want to look through all different time frames when you're deciding on placing a trade or understanding the emotions of the chart it's extremely important so to sum it up a little bit, we learned a lot today, right? There's various types of opinions on when choosing uh, a chart to use. Like I said, the stock chart here, candlesticks, is the most common. And it's a lot of opinions on what time frame, what type of pricing to represent. But when starting out, the best thing to do is come familiar with the different options that you have. Let's look at the options once again. The options, of course, are the candlestick chart. Options, of course, the bar chart. And this option is the line chart. But most importantly, we just want to come familiar with everything. Every trader realizes, you know, different charts work for different people. You know, they want to find out what works best for them. So when you come to that realization, try to choose the type of chart um, that you're going to consistently use and look at the different methods. So here at the Profit Room, we're here to help. You can always email us and uh, ask us any more questions about what you learn in this program. We like to provide you with uh, trader education. Even though we are professional traders and we trade for a living, it's best to understand uh, the concept behind trading we believe that the more knowledge you have and understanding it makes you feel more comfortable and build the confidence in placing trades so as always trade safe and look forward to more and more trader education from the profitroom.com take care